and we have lifted the T-Series into the air. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more BeamNG Drive and in today's video we have a monster truck, the CRD monster truck to be exact and in the picture it doesn't have a skin, I don't know why, but when we actually spawn it up it actually does have a skin which is the Metal Militia skin which I actually believe is a real monster truck in real life and it kind of rises out of the ground like that. <laughs> it's really creepy. That's a glitch I would hope they would fix pretty soon, but you know it doesn't bother me. Like, sometimes it'll take like five minutes for it to like rise out of the ground. It's faster just to friggin' spawn it on top of the ground, but that works for me. But anyway, I know you guys want to see me run over some shit with this, but I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to seize you first because whenever I have a new vehicle on this show, I like to kind of just drive it down the mountain just to watch it get obliterated. And this is supposed to be like a really tough car. It's a monster truck for fuck's sake, but I just want to break it first thing, first and foremost, just so we know it's not invincible. Alright, so right off the bat I noticed this thing isn't as loud as you would think a monster truck would be. It looks like a monster truck, but it sounds pretty weak. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but let's go ahead and crash this. I'm tired of waiting. Oh, buddy, yeah, it might actually survive, who knows. But, oh, 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 it's doing good so far. <laughs> it's kind of bouncy. Oh, okay, I think we might have broke something now. What in the hell, it's very... Okay, yeah, the the wheels are still in sh like in one piece, but the side of the car is just kind of leaning over. I don't think you'd probably want to drive this in. And there goes a tire, finally. And it <laughs> they just look like big ass pillows on the side of this thing. So yeah, this isn't really a monster truck anymore. It's just a normal truck with big tires on the side of it. Basically, you're probably not going to be driving this anywhere from now on. It still runs though. Can we still drive it? Oh yeah, we popped a wheel. <laughs> we blew it. It was still running, but we kind of we kind of fucked it up by driving and doing this big ass wheelie. Let's see if we can kind of flip this thing over. I want to see if we can still drive it. There's the t <laughs> Hold on, do you see that? There's the tire way off in the back room doing donuts into the ocean. That's that's kind of a pretty sight now that I think about it. There we go. Okay. I'm really curious if this can still drive. Oh, yes it can. What in the f Fuck. Uh, that is a, the weirdest monster truck I've ever seen, but god damn it, it is still running. Kind of. Not really. Alright, so we're back in my favorite map, the Utah map. I wanted to come here because I kind of wanted to test the off-road capabilities of this thing. Because, you know, it's a monster truck, so it should be able to take... Oh god, why is it so bouncy? <laughs> yeah, it should be able to take these uh, jumps pretty good. I don't know what in the fuck happened to the front of it there, but it seems to has deformed. Seems to has deformed anyway. Oh, the classic monster truck move there. Driving straight up and doing a backflip and landing it. Yeah, I'm going to actually respawn this thing because I am not liking the way that that thing is looking right now. Yeah, so if any of you guys watched my stream a, a couple weeks ago, we did kind of mess around with this thing a little bit, but we really were pretty much just stress testing, and we, we weren't really driving it around for the sake of testing it. We were just kind of destroying it. So now I just wanted to kind of get in and see how good this thing is off-road. And, you know, I'm kind of not surprised at all at how good this thing is doing off-road. It's a monster truck, for, for God's sake. But it seemed like this thing was actually pretty uh, dainty when I was driving it. A couple weeks ago, it seems like I would drive over one jump wrong and the thing would just kind of lean off to the side and just be broken. But now it seems like it's... Oh, shit. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. There we go. Yes. Oh, no, we did break it. Yeah, like that. It would just do that, but a way smaller collision. So I think they may have fixed it quite a bit. So, yeah, you can pretty much just straight drive through the river and no problems. It's really slidey, though. Whoa, whoa. What the hell? All right, donuts for days, I guess. Let's see how fast we can get going. I want to do one of those ultra high spin donuts to the point where we just kind of flip over. Oh. Okay, get your vomit bags ready, guys. Oh, no, we're going to flip. Ooh. Oh, my God. We are going to create a whirlpool if we keep doing this. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Ooh. <laughs> That's a, a merry-go-round if I ever saw one. Okay, I, I can't stop. I'm trying to turn out of this, but I'm like stuck in this vortex here. Oh god, this is not good for us. Oh, I am legitimately scared, guys. All right, stop. Stop moving. I think we're kind of floating on the top of the Are we like float? It looks like we're fucking 
exploding. Okay, didn't know you could do that. Apparently these are filled with helium or something because we are floating on the top of the water. And this monster truck probably weighs a f the f a thousands of pounds and we're floating on top of the water. That's c We created a boat and Beam and Geo working <laughs> boats. Okay, we off ground. Get off. God damn it. I can't get out of the river. All right, fuck it. We're spawning over here. God damn, that's it. <laughs> I literally could not get out of the water. All right, finally we're out. Let's try some rock crawling, shall we? Uh, it should be a piece of cake for this. This thing is a little bit top heavy though, but I am pretty confident in its abilities as long as you don't gun it too hard. You end up doing a backflip and this thing doesn't turn very well. I will say that. Its turning is for shit, but you don't need to worry about turning when you could just go over everything. That's That's been my motto my entire life. Yeah, this thing pretty much does feel like you are controlling an actual monster truck. All the in internal parts are working as they should. The shocks, the monster shocks, the uh, engine still kind of sounds just like a regular car in this game, but I'm sure those could be added in later updates. So yeah, the, what we have right here is basically the finished product, and it is pretty goddamn glorious. And I think it's time that we start running over some shit. All right, let's see if we can just straight up drive over the barrier here. Yes, you can, of course. All right, so what should we spawn up first? All right, so we had to start with something really tiny. So we have a pigeon here, and we're just going to straight up run over this bitch. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, but it was more just like kicking it out of the way. It actually seemed like this thing was pretty light. I don't know. Let's try that again. The pigeon is trying to run away, but it's going to be... The death of it. Here we go. Let's go actually get a little bit of slow motion here. I kind of want to see get up real close and personal with this tire going over this pigeon's face right now. And there we go. That's more about what we were looking at. It's still kind of just running. I don't know if that's just the pigeon being extremely strong or if this is the monster truck being extremely light. But it is running over it as you can see. And it's just kind of, it's actually just kind of bending it a little bit. It's not really smushing it like you think a monster truck would, so maybe we have to get a little bit more speed? I don't know. All right, full speed ahead, here we go. And smash, there we go, that was a little bit better. It just kind of seems like it's kind of kicking it out of the way though, that's really strange, so let's just keep running it, oh god. Okay, we, po <laughs> we popped the tire and that looks like a mess, that looks like a nightmare right there. Oh, that is, that is not pretty, guys. All right, not sure how the pigeon ended up over here, but doesn't matter now, we're gonna hit this thing again, hopefully smush it, there we go. Oh, beautiful, <laughs> stuck to the tire. Oh, I think we thoroughly smashed it there. I mean, it's not on the level of Belez smashing cars, but that is a very close second. That is pretty well in smush, guys, I would say. All right, so we have a small assortment of vehicles here and we're basically gonna hit this thing at full speed. It's way down there. Uh, so this should cause quite a bit of damage guys. This is our very own monster jam Inside beam and G. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go guys three two one. Let's go. Oh This is gonna be some pure magic guys. Whoa, this thing is wobbly and let's get a good cinematic camera angle for this How about oh? Let's say right there and we'll slow it down just a tad not too much and here we go, this is gonna be some crazy shit, and there goes the pigeon into oblivion. <laughs> oh yes, the sound effects. And we have lifted the T-Series into the air. <laughs> and we're gonna body slam it too by the looks of it. Oh, that is a thing to behold, look at that. Oh wow, I think we could actually hit that again, going a little bit faster though. All right, we are cruising this time, 60 miles an hour. Oh, this is not gonna be good, yes! Oh, are we okay? Oh, flip over, you bastard. Oh, damn it. Oh, that would have been so cool if we could have driven away from that. All right, so here's something I haven't got to test yet, really. This is a big old tank, and when it first came out, all you could have in it was water and milk. But uh, now they have petroleum and diesel, so we're going to run straight into this thing with the monster truck. Uh, into this tank full of petroleum. And I kind of want to see if it's going to blow up into a giant fireball. I really, really hope it does, because that would just make my day. But any anyway, anyway, let's just go ahead and see what happens, guys. Here we go. Hold up, hold up. We are not going to fly over this thing, are we? No, we're not. Oh, is it just going <laughs> to bounce over it? Damn it. 
Oh shit, we are gonna get some air though. Okay, we're gonna- I wanna see that thing blow up one way or another. So we're gonna have to- oh god! Maybe we're just gonna have to run straight into it. Okay, so we're running straight into the back of this thing. Please blow up- oh, come on! Oh shit! <laughs> Nothing! Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, oh fuck this. Let's just see if when we pick this up in the air and just drop it on top of all these poor souls below. Let's just see if it'll blow up finally. I just want to see something blow up here. So, oh, it's gonna land straight on the monster truck. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> and... Nothing! Are you fucking kidding me? Why fill it with petroleum if it can't blow up? Oh, man. Uh, I guess we could try it with the diesel. Alright, there's the diesel. Please blow up. Damn it. Okay, I guess they're not gonna blow up. If somebody can mod that and make it blow up though, you would you would really be my hero. Alright, we're back in the monster truck. Let's go ahead and just run over all this stuff that's pretty much just laying you in waste right here. At full speed. Oh, that T-Rex is gonna- Oh, shit! <laughs> it's- Did not expect that. That thing basically just told my tire to fuck off. And it did, so we are now three wheels and wow. I feel really inadequate now. All right, let's run straight into the back of that T-Series. I want to rip that cargo straight off of it. Here we go. Yeah, wow, this thing, it doesn't have a lot of weight behind it, honestly. It doesn't feel like it is a full-blown monster truck. It looks and acts like one, but when you actually get down to the heavy hitting, it does not pull through for you. I guess that's, I mean, I guess nobody's perfected the T, or the, uh, the monster truck yet. There's been a lot that have gotten close, and this is probably the closest we've gotten, but if we can fix the weight issue, I think we might actually have it, guys. But yeah, anyway, if you want to check out this mod, I will leave a link in the description. It is free, and it is really fun to mess around with, because it does feel like you're driving a monster truck, just when you start running over stuff that you kind of notice that it ain't quite right. But it is still a very good, uh, a very good try at it, I guess you would call it. So yeah, uh, that'll be it for this video. Uh, if you have any other mods you want to suggest to me down in the comments, feel free and make sure to like and subscribe if you are not already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.